Hello everybody, it's Alfred. Uh, coming to you uh, with this video of a tobacco review. And um, having a little bit of coffee also. Um, this tobacco goes great with a uh, like a good French roast coffee. This roasted real dark, which is what I love. So uh, today, I'm smoking uh, Cabaret Rouge or Rouge, however it's pronounced. I'm not sure. Uh, it's from Sutliff, and here's the tin. There, if you see it. And it's a coarse cut. Uh, it's got black Cavendish and Virginia's in it. Take a look there. It's a great looking tobacco. And, uh, Smokes great. I'm smoking it in my uh, little basket pipe. It just says it's made in the Czech Republic. And uh, has a little saddle bit there. And smokes pretty good. I like it. And uh, uh, Angela's brand new bag uh, tamper, custom made. Very well done. And. Uh, The tobacco smokes great. Uh, I know some people, I think Kevin, Louisiana Pipe Guy 1965, said that uh, he got a, an aromatic of like a caramel apple. I think he said that, you know, it's have a fair or something. Um, I get that on the tin note. As you smell the tin when you first open it up. I don't get it on the smoke. But what I get on the smoke is more of a. a some kind of a fruit flavor. Fruity flavor. Not necessarily a citrus. But more like a berry type fruit to me. It's very uh, subtle though. It's not strong or overpowering. Um. Uh, It smokes cool, and I'm enjoying it a good bit. Uh, I smoked a good bit of it so far. Uh, it smokes great in a corn cob. Let me tell you, uh, uh, it does great wonders in a corn cob because all the flavors come out, and it does pretty good in the briar. Haven't had no dottle with it. It smokes down to a, a, a gray ash, as you can see here. And uh, as I said, being the a light fruity flavor, it goes well with a good cup of coffee. And uh, smokes cool, like I said. Um, and it's just a great little tobacco. Um, like I said, all the Sutliff brands are good quality tobacco. And I really haven't had, as far as the tobaccos I've reviewed, nothing really bad to say on all of them. Um, I'll read you the tin description here. It says it's uh, a complex aromatic, which it is, and sweet blend of Virginia and Black Cavendish. It is a complex aromatic. Cause it, I just can't quite grasp what kind of fruit it is. The sweet, I pick up a little bit on the sweet. Uh, on it. It's not overpowering either. And the room note is uh, very pleasant. I would rate the room note probably, uh, probably three and a half out of five. So for me, that's pretty good. 
I've had no complaints with it. So, uh, that's my take on uh, Cabaret Rouge, or Rogue, and uh, hope you all enjoy it. Uh, go out and get you a tin of it, because uh, you'll thoroughly enjoy it. Out of uh, five stars total, I'm going to give this one probably a uh, good solid four. It's, it's very good. I like it. Y'all keep this in my rotation. And uh, it burns well and stays lit. I mean, it's, uh, I've had problems with rough cut tobacco before staying lit, but not with this one. It stays lit all the way through. I don't think I've had to relight once in all the bowls that I've uh, smoked of it. I've had to tamp it, of course, or uh, venturi it, you know, with the fingers, but as far as relighting, never had to. So, uh, that's my review. Hope everyone's doing fine and staying warm in this cold weather we're having. So, until next time, we'll talk to you later. And life is good, and so are smokers. Thank you.